Hi everyone, welcome to our review of the Mark Hockey One Pro Custom Chest Protector. Uh, this actually arrived with me about three or four weeks ago, but with the rinks being closed in the UK, I haven't had a chance to test it in a proper training session yet. Uh, only on an empty sheet of ice in full kit for about 20 minutes just to test the mobility and the uh, just how comfortable it is. Uh, but it's enough to give you my initial opinions at this stage. So just to tell you a little bit about it, um, Mark Hockey are a company based in Russia. Um, this protector is used throughout the KHL and throughout the European Pro Leagues, so it's a very, very popular um, unit at very high levels of hockey. It's just not quite as well known in, in Western Europe, in the US and Canada. Um, so I've broken this into two bits, so I've removed an arm so we can look at the chest and the arms individually. Um, so to start at the top, the, um, the clavicle area, you're very well protected up here. Um, it sits sort of at just the right level that it protects the collarbone area and the throat but doesn't sit up too high and sort of get in your way when you're moving around. So it's a nice balance there. Uh, very comfortable, very mobile through that area as well. Um, the sternum and the shoulder areas, very, very solid on the surface. It's very, very good sort of high sort of level of uh, materials been used in here. The build quality is fantastic. Um, so into the shoulders there, underneath you've got some softer little cushions of, of padding there. This will just offer you a bit of extra protection between the puck and the body but they're nice and soft, so they're not going to hinder your mobility at all. Uh, what they also do there is they help to increase your coverage. They just make you a little bit bigger, um, just to make you a bit wider in the net. But what you can do, if you don't like that, you can actually remove these. These are velcro done. So, um, let's say, if you want that bit of extra sort of size in your shoulders, you can have those on there. But if you don't need them or they feel they get in the way, then those are easily removed there. Um, as we move down to the, the belly and the, the rib protectors, Pretty much what you'd expect from any pro level unit. It's nice and solid, but plenty of mobility through the cuts and the padding there. On the ribs, you've got two layers. So you've got this first mobile layer here, but underneath you've got an extra layer of softer padding there, which just helps with that rib protection, but doesn't sacrifice any mobility there at all. So as we move on to the back, your shoulder wings here and here, they're nice and adjustable. So the Velcro here allows you to adjust the overall height of the chest protector, so high, how close to your throat it sits or how low down and these nylon straps there will can, can help you change how much the shoulders wrap around the body so if you have it a bit looser it will sit up higher offer a bit more coverage over the shoulder but if you feel that gets in the way or you'd like a chest protector that wraps around your body a bit more you can tighten these down and that will fit nicely over the shoulder there so as we move down the back plate is actually quite solid as well not that you should be facing this way very often but you always need a bit of extra protection everywhere you can get it um, so this offers a nice little balance between protection and mobility there as well. So put that to one side and look at the arms. For the arms, I was a bit sceptical on how protective these would be. When I just saw the pictures, having never sort of seen the unit in person until now, um, I didn't know how protective it was going to be because it looks quite soft in the pictures. But I was mistaken. It's extremely well protected. The up in the bicep area there, you've got a nice thick sort of one inch piece of padding on top of another bit there. So you're never going to get caught on the tops of the arms there. Front of the arm there, you've got plastic and HD foam in here. So again, you're not going to get any stingers in the front of the arm. Onto the elbow floaters. These, much like the uh, the shoulder floaters there, these are absolutely solid. Um, so there's no way you're going to get any stingers in the elbow crease there. And that wraps all the way both inside and outside. So you're, you're very well protected on there but they sit quite independently, so it's not going to sacrifice any mobility there at all. Um, as we go into the forearm, again, you're very well protected on all, all angles there, so you're very well covered. And one bit I was quite sceptical about before I saw it was the elbow cup. Now, in the pictures, this looks really, really soft. And coming from a, a CCM unit that has like molded plastic elbow cups, I was a bit sceptical on what these would be like. But I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, you've got a mixture of sort of mid and high density foams in there to form the elbow cup. So it's very well protective on the outside, but you can actually mold it around a bit as well. So it doesn't sacrifice any mobility there. You're not gonna get it in the way at all. Um, it's very well adjustable. You've got a number of different straps that you can adjust on here just to get the fit exactly how you want it. Um, I like my arms to be quite loose. So I've loosened off most of these straps here. Just got everything where it sits where it needs to be, but I have sort of free range of motion on there as well, and the, the straps allow me to do that very well. Um, so the most important thing in the arms that most people check on the chest protector is the mobility. This has only been worn lightly for about 20 minutes. I've not worn it in a hockey session. And 
as you can see there the mobility is fantastic and i could feel that on the ice as well i wasn't restricted in my movements at all i didn't feel like the chest protector was getting in its way and sort of restricting my movements on the ice at all so i was very very impressed with that a couple bits i would tweak um, that aren't quite to my liking um, the wrist strap at the bottom here I'd like that to be elastic. I feel that when you extend your arm fully, it digs in a little bit. That's just my preference. I have spoken to Mark Hockey and they've said that they will happily change that to elastic for anybody that wanted to change that. And the only other thing that I would like to change that wasn't quite to my liking is at the bottom of the belly there. I feel like it sits a little bit too high. It doesn't overlap with the shorts quite enough for me. I'm not a particularly tall guy, but I didn't feel like it overlapped quite enough. Uh, Mark Hockey, again, have happily said that they will add an extra little bit towards the bottom there just so it overlaps and sits lower down on the shorts as well so again not a 10 out of 10 but easily fixed and mark hockey have offered excellent service to get this exactly how i would like it if i choose to order another one so that wraps up my uh review for now um obviously i'd like to review it again once i've had a chance to use it in a couple of hockey sessions just to comment on the how protective it is but on my first opinion i won't have any problems with the protection level of this unit um, if you have any questions or comments on the unit, please feel free to comment either on Instagram or YouTube. We'll happily get back to you. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.